up guys welcome back to the motorhead youtube channel so today guys we are finalizing the s2000 and i've been waiting patiently for my twin disc clutch it was out of stock but we finally got it and that is the last piece of the puzzle to this car and that's going to get it to the dyno we got a couple other little things we're going to do i want to do a full fluid refresh on everything and then we'll go ahead and dig right into it we do have to take the supercharger off unfortunately because to change the clutch you have to drop the engine and that sucks but it's okay because we can handle it and i already have the experience to do it now that i've done it before so we're gonna get right into it and we're gonna start by checking out this beast of a clutch all right guys so here is our twin disc clutch this is from ballad sports and big shout out to them for working with me on this project we do have a couple of ballad sports products on the s2000 such as the pulleys uh it's the serpentine conversion and also we have their catch can which is also really nice and they were gracious enough to send me this absolutely beautiful twin disc clutch right here and this thing is just absolutely amazing and it, even though we're not running high horsepower this can handle high horsepower applications and it's built really well and one of the biggest like cool factors of this clutch is the fact that most twin disc clutches that you buy require a custom flywheel and also a custom uh, throwout bearing and here we have a oem honda s2000 throwout bearing and this right here bolts onto your oem flywheel so there's no need for any of that and it bolts straight up to your clutch exactly as it would oem and if your throwout bearing ever goes bad you don't have to buy one from the clutch manufacturer you go to your dealer such as this and you go and get a brand new one which is really awesome and also flywheels if you want to use the ap1 flywheel a lot of people do that because it's a tad bit lighter and makes it easier you can use it and you don't have to buy a expensive flywheel to go with this clutch and it's a super awesome clutch and then we also did go ahead and get a brand new timing chain tensioners these right here go bad under boost applications and whatnot and pretty much we just wanted to replace it because they are really known to go bad on the s2000 even at 40,000 miles especially if you throw a boost at it so we're going to replace this too that way it has a brand new one and like i said we're going to do a full fluid rechange and get this thing completely perfect because I am trading this thing and we want it to be absolutely perfect for the new owner and stay tuned for that guys. So we're going to go ahead and dig into the car. First thing we got to do is take that Craftswork supercharger off. Alright guys, so I got the supercharger off and first order of business, I'm gonna go ahead and replace this. It's right here, it's two bolts. You take this off and the reason this comes off is when you put the new one on, you pull the cotter pin and it tensions the chain. So we're gonna replace that really quickly and then we're gonna move on. Okay, so we got the timing chain tensioner installed. Super easy, very simple. And now we know for sure for the new owner, this thing is gonna be reliable and have no issues. A lot of people were saying that I should have changed the belt before the supercharger went on and they are 100% right. So I'm gonna replace this belt to put a brand new one. We have to remove it anyways, cause I need to take this alternator off to get to the starter bolt, which is way in there and it's a huge pain in the butt. So we're gonna start with that. We're gonna get this serpentine belt off, get that alternator off, get that bolt off. We need to lower the subframe six inches and get it to the ground. That way we can get to the back bolts on the transmission so we're gonna go ahead and get started it's a pretty technical process and it's pretty annoying but we're gonna get everything done and get this thing set up right because it needs that clutch that way we can send this bad boy to the dyno
All right, so now that we got the manifold off, we are going to unscrew the shifter. Very simple process here. Take all this stuff off. And then this pops right out. Alright guys, so we have the transmission out finally and as you can see this throw out bearing is shot. It's all wallowed out and everything and if you look over here, you can see there's remnants of the throw out bearing on here. So we're going to have to put new throw out bearing. So we're going to slap that bad boy in there too and get this all nice and good. And then obviously the clutch, we're about to take off this clutch. I want to see the condition of the clutch because it might be a little beat up because you know, I was driving it with a stock clutch, which is rated for 240 horsepower. I mean, not that I beat on it, but still, I do want to see how it looks. All right, guys, so here we have our original clutch, and here we have our beefy twin disc. So as you can see, this is one disc and two, hence twin disc, obviously. So this is super dope. And as you can see, the housing is identical, whoops, to that. So. We're gonna be reusing it, or not reusing it, but reusing the flywheel. And that's what's really cool about this clutch, as I said before. If you guys wanna check it out, I'll link it down below for you S2000 owners. This thing is awesome, and I can't wait to see how it performs. So we're gonna clean it up a little bit, cause I did get it a little greasy. We're gonna clean it and get it installed with the clutch alignment tool and get this thing back together and get this thing dyno tuned. But we'll probably put some miles on it, break it in, drive it real nice and easy that way or i'll just talk to the tuner and see if he can do it with the new clutch and we'll just go whatever route we have to go so yeah let's go ahead and start getting this thing back into the car guys so we got the clutch in i got the subframe up and now we just have to button up all this 
get everything under here done, lower the car down, and put everything back on like that starter bolt, the alternator, and all that, and supercharge this car again, of course, and we're ready to start driving it. So super awesome how everything just went so smoothly. We didn't have no issues at all. And now we have that awesome Ballast Sports Twin Disc Clutch, which again, if you're an S1000 owner and you want it, I'll link it down below. They have all sorts of S2000 stuff, Type R's. It's just crazy. Like you go through their site and you're gonna spend some money because they have so many cool products. So we're gonna go ahead and get some food and come back and knock this out. Alright guys, so we finished lunch and I went ahead and buttoned everything up. I got the header on, I got everything buttoned up completely and we are ready to lower this car. But before we lower it, I wanna go ahead and go to O'Reilly's. I wanna get a server team belt and I wanna get some oil and we're gonna drain this oil and put fresh oil in it, that way it's perfect. So I'm gonna go to O'Reilly's and get the stuff. We're gonna drain it, put that back on and we'll lower it, button it up, fill it up with oil and this thing will be ready to go. We got Mr. Antoine here in the house. Yes, 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 this be me, this be me. This guy is the professional. No, no, that's nothing professional about me. I gave those, I gave those professional days up. I do not do the poles anymore, sir. We're getting some mobile one. We need a air filter, I mean oil filter. filter. Yes, sir, you call about a Honda. That's 2000, 2006, sir. It's a serpentine belt for the same mm -hmm. car, sir. Mm -hmm. I want the best oil filter you have. The best oil filter we have. You would like platinum or gold, sir? Uh, I don't know. Which one's better? Mm -hmm. Uh, We got platinum. You want platinum, sir? What does that mean? Well, that means that it's a motorcraft. No, no, this ain't no motorcraft, man. This isn't a boat. It's oh, a car. It's a car. Oh, I thought it was a scooter. My bad. <laughs> would you like a K&N uh, oil filter, sir? What would you recommend? I mean, how often do you like to plan on uh, changing your oil, sir? I don't know, dude. Okay. Just would you like nice. to be a Mobile One? A Mobile One is a perfectly good oil filter. Yeah, let's do Mobile One because that's the oil. Okay. We'll do Mobile One, Two, and Three. And would that be anything else, sir? Uh, nope. Dang, $82, dude, you taxing me. Huh? Well, I'm not taxing you, O'Reilly taxing you. You're taxing me, bro. I'm not taxing you, O'Reilly is taxing Look, you. Look, scan it as one of these keychains right here. N no. Come on, dude. N no, I can't do that. No one's gonna know. No, yes they will. Because I'm recording you, I was testing exactly. you. Exactly. I was testing you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, let me get that, dude. I would like my food stamp card to keep coming in, sir. Thank you very much. Down the Lord is there, man. Wait, what'd you say? Uh... I said everybody but Yuri was getting fat. Dude, come on, man. That's everybody disrespectful. Everybody but Yuri getting fat. Look at Ben. He... I'm not Ben. <laughs> <laughs> ben ain't working hard. That's what it is. He's making oh, too much money. That's what it is. Ben, you, instead of smoking your crack, you eating your crack. You lose weight when you smoke it. Not eating it now. And I'm sure you're eating it by the by the by the kilos or the birds or whatever. All right, all right, all right. That's enough of that. We're, we got our stuff. We're gonna get back.
All right, guys, so we finally are done. And I'm gonna go ahead and start the car up. Make sure the clutch is engaging. But it seems like everything is good and we're good to go. So let's see if this bad boy works. Get this out of here. My clutch is literally solid, bro. It doesn't even... Well, guys, the test went horribly wrong and the clutch was not working. And we're back to square one, got the transmission back out. And as you can see, this throw bearing is supposed to go on the inside. And I had it on the outside on this. And so it's pressing up against here. And obviously that's not where it goes. Wait, so is, how does it go on the factory one? Does it go... Oh, on no, it goes the same way. Uh, I just wasn't paying attention to it. and. I just thought it goes, because when I took it off, it came all out and everything, and I was just, wasn't looking at it. But yeah, this right here, you see, it's supposed to be behind there. Yeah, because I remember on Vlad's S2000, we couldn't get the clutch off. And the reason for that was because we had to pull this thing out. You have to pull it out to get the, you know? Yeah, so it connects to it. Yep. And that's what I did, because when I took it off, I, I popped this out to get the transmission off, which means this was holding behind here. And when I went to go press the clutch, it was just hard. You couldn't even press it down. It's because it was already compressed. So yep. I need to take this off, get the alignment tool back in there, slap that on there, and then put it all back together. But I did it pretty fast. I did it in like 30 minutes. Yeah, it's always easy whenever you already know everything, you know? Well, not just that. I didn't even have to take the supercharger off the first time. Oh, because... I took it off the first time, but you don't even have to. Yeah, because you're kind of just leaning the subframe down. You're not actually... Yeah. You wing at an angle. They said three inches, so I measure from the supercharger, but it's three inches from the back. This front bolt stays in. So yeah, no, it's all good though. You know, mistakes happen, but yeah, I'm gonna get this thing back together and get it going. Oh, and I forgot a bolt. So, so, so oh, you had to take it apart anyway. Yeah. Well, either way, I mean, I wasn't gonna leave it apart. I was. I just found this just now, so that's a really good save. So I'm gonna take all this off and put it together right and get this thing back together. All right, guys, here we have a properly installed clutch, alignment bearing, nice and good. As you can see, it goes in perfectly and the throw bearing is where it's supposed to be. So we're gonna get this transmission on for good and get it all back together. All right, guys, so we finally got it all buttoned up. It was such a pain getting it off and redoing it, but we went back and we did it even better. And I just noticed that this exhaust right here is broken. As you can see that right there, and that is not good. So Yuri from over at 23rd Garage is about to hook it up and get this welded back up for us real nicely. And I'm gonna hold it in place right here and he's gonna tack it and then run a bead on it. All right, big shout out to Yuri at 23rd Garage. And now the underside is done. We're gonna go ahead and lower it and button up the top. All right, guys, this thing is going down for good now. Matt already climbed up inside there and tested it. So we know it works. We're gonna go ahead and button up the engine bay. Pretty simple, just the starter bolt, the alternator bolt, the two, uh, the two intercooler pipes and the intake, and that's it. And then we'll clean up our area. We just got some fresh oil in it already. So this thing is done. We're gonna take it for a test drive, make sure everything is good. And that's gonna be it and we'll just wait and see what it, what time we can get a dynode. Maybe hopefully next time, sometime next week, hopefully. We'll see, I'm gonna have to talk to Jason and see what he can get set up for us. So we're gonna go ahead and finish this up and keep you posted. Okay, so the car is finally all back together at all, after all those blood, sweat, and tears. And this is the moment of truth. Yuri, what do you think? You think it's gonna dry? I hope so, after all that crying he was doing. I like, I really like that he cleaned up his area. If you guys will notice here, uh, everything is decently clean as he left it. I'm very happy with that. You gonna get it right? Huh? You gonna get it right? I can't find my team. 
Well, I guess that's gonna be it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button and also check me I out. Found, oh, no, I didn't. Oh. Yeah, just, <laughs> just end the video. <laughs>
where are they leaking? <laughs> that, that's what we did. What do you mean? That's our our engineering that nah, we did. Nah, that, that right leaking? there, that's leaking out of that line, Nate. Yeah. Nah, Mark, that's, that's, Mark, hold on. Everybody be quiet. Mark, tell tell Nate exactly what you said. I said even Mishimoto lines are junk, and these are below Mishimoto lines. So nah, something's wrong with It's going to leak because it's Chinese. Something's wrong. It's not like, it's not like smooth. When What's not smooth? When you turn the wheel, it's like jerking. I yeah, because it's hitting your header. You can see it jerking right there. Is that what it, it is? catches. It is. It is. We do need a. We need a, right there on that header. We need to. Uh, oh, they're awesome. We need to warm that header up and push it out. But my main concern is these lines. Nate, where where exactly did you procure <laughs> these lines? Uh, they took about like maybe two months to come in from Guangdao, China. Luigi's uncle made them. Oh my goodness, Luigi's uncle, Mr. China Walk. Dang, bro. No, nah, uh, I think we where just, can we get Mark? Where can we get good lines? Oh, uh, yo, vibrant. Nah, bro, vibrant. Makes That's the wrong one. Ones. The red one, no go. The red ones are no go. Wait, no, you're. Do you have the pin in here? You're what? missing the pin. That's what it is. Nah, the red ones are a no go here. What? They're, Nate, you're missing this pin. Junk. You see that pin right there? That's what locks it in. I get that, but the red one, the red ones are junk. All right. So, in other words, Mark. In other words, what you're trying to say is I should order the line. Yeah. And get vibrant lines, dude. Line. Just, I mean, you spent all the money on this and everything. You don't want to take this front end off again. No, I just did all this work. Ones. I just did all this work hooking it up. But look, my bracket is beast. Oh, yeah. That's all that matters. And then look, I got check, this side. Let's check out his bracket. The uh, overflow tank is mounted. Look at that. Perfect. Let me see it. Uh, what I have left is the... Dang. And that's it. So, okay, Nate, the, so what are we gonna do about the lines? Put that black line on there instead of that garbage red one. No, you're gonna change the lines out, Nate. You're gonna buy actual AN lines. That is. No, nah, what do you mean? No, AN, 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 AN is on. the fitting. Why, it's hold not on, the. Nate, look, if I zoom in onto the power steering rack, you will also notice that there's a leak there as well. Is it? Yeah, there is a substantial one. It was you dripping. Gotta... Oh yeah, I, duh. Because the power steering lines have to have tape on them. No. They're, they're not. not they're that's pipe the thread. first I've ever heard of that. They're pipe thread. A in lines. That's not A in line. That's pipe thread, bro. Don't see. Oh, it. he might be right about that. All right. So, in other words. No, no. Hey, you, let's mark. Point the camera this way. Let's see if the subscribers can see each other through the. There. Oh, there it goes. Yep. No, nah, you're. These red lines are just junk. So all that work I did was for no reason because you procured. Hey, I, I, I warned you right before you started. I warned y'all. That's all I had. Nah, we had the black ones. The black ones don't work, sir. How? All right. We just, hey, we just went through all of this right right here about, he he, he gave me the ones that would work and the, the ones that are on there right now is the ones that would work and the ones that would work, like not would work, not like making cabinets, but like <laughs> <laughs> would work. And they didn't work. So you need to get some nice ones. I'm going to yeah. go wash my car. But guys, first LS swapped F80 in the world. Check it out. 23rd garage. And you know you know they know what they're doing. Look at this camera. Why are you running away? You scared? Bro, I can't even hold this thing for three minutes. Yeah. I'll, I will sell this thing to the first person that makes me an offer. Oh, look, look, look. The man's been reading comments. About what? About washing a car in uh, with like a goal in mind. I don't get it. One time you uh, you posted a video where you were washing something. Somebody posted, man, you washing that car like you ain't, don't even know what you're doing, blah, blah. And he was, he was all over the car. He was everywhere. He was over here, over there, over there. That's how you gotta do it. Look, you start from the middle, go you do straight lines even lines just like that like what he's doing. yeah you know as long as you're doing that right there hitting the whole car like that go over it like two or three times two or three times yeah that's all she's getting right here really i go over at least two times around the whole car
right guys, just like that, this thing is ready. That clutch is installed, everything went smoothly after the fact that we figured out we got it wrong, but I'm glad that we went ahead and did it all in one day, even with that unfortunate event. But the car is done, and now I'm gonna talk to Jason, get a dyno tune scheduled, and we're gonna have this thing ready to go for the new owner. Stay tuned guys, that'll be all coming next week, and I got something super cool coming in place of this. And it's going to be awesome. You guys are going to love it. So if you want to see this thing get down tuned, be sure to hit that subscribe button and stick around. And if you want to see some of this stuff before the video drops, you can follow us on Instagram at motorhead.co. I'll link it down below. Appreciate all the love and support, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.